Just last week, I asked the Bing AI Copilot to find me some money. And using what I'm about to show you, it not only found me the little bit of money I was expecting, it found me lots of money. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how this works. Step by step, start to finish with nothing left out. This is something that you don't even really have to be that smart to be able to do. You won't need any money because the tools I'm going to show you are free. And with a little bit of work, I think you can use this strategy to find tons of money hiding in plain sight. Because after all, let's face it, the people getting extremely rich aren't doing anything incredibly new. And today, I'm not only gonna show you exactly how to use the Microsoft Bing Copilot to find money, I'm also gonna show you how to think differently and how to spot hidden money that no one talks about hiding in plain sight all over the internet. So watch this video at least one time all the way through because your eyes are about to be opened. Welcome to the secret world of hidden online money makers and how to use Microsoft Bing Copilot to find them. And in just a minute, we're gonna get into the nitty gritty. But first, a story. Back in the year 2002, when I was starting my internet business, we were looking for keywords that were non-competitive. I know a lot of people think that, oh, Google back then wasn't that competitive and you had a unique advantage, but it still was pretty competitive and the information about how to rank and how to get in front of people wasn't as readily available as it is today. And we certainly didn't have AI, Bing Copilot, ChatGPT, and Google Bard to help us out. And what I did is I came up with a list of what I call trigger words. These trigger words found out what people wanted online and the hidden profit strategy that allowed me to find advertisers that were willing to pay anywhere from 10 cents to 50 cents, all the way up to about $10 or more for one click on a link to their website. And using this exact same strategy, I've been able to make millions of dollars online over the years. In fact, last year, using this exact same strategy, I banked over $1 million in one of my businesses alone. And not only that, but I've made high six figures and even seven figures in some of the niches that you probably never even heard of and certainly didn't think you could make a lot of money with. And today, I'm pulling back the entire curtain you're gonna to get to see exactly how this works so that you can go do it for yourself. We're gonna use free keyword tools, free AI, and show you exactly how to prompt Microsoft Bing Copilot AI to find hidden money in a snap. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, we're also gonna ask the AI to go get the money for us. Smash that like button, and let me show you how it works. All right, so first off, what we want to do is find keywords that have very little or even no competition and pair them with things that make lots of money. The hidden money on the internet is the fact that there are so many people searching the web and there's so many advertisers paying for this stuff that if we can bridge that gap, we can make tons of money. And today, I'm going to show you how to use AI to do exactly that. But I want you to picture this in your brain. Let's say, for instance, you're out there on Facebook, you're looking at the marketplace, maybe you're looking for a new scooter, and all of a sudden some kind of ad pops up. You click on the ad and then go to a page with search result. Now, a lot of people might think, well, maybe the website's broken or maybe there's a problem with it or what's going on. In fact, what's happening is they're taking you from something generic, something super non-expensive, searching Facebook marketplace, and putting you into something that is expensive. Maybe they'll have something like get a new auto loan or something like that. We're gonna to wanna to do the same exact thing with keywords. And this is what I've done for over 23 years. We wanna find keywords with no competition. Maybe something like auto loan calculator New York, which doesn't have many advertisers on it. We can create a little auto loan calculator or an article or a link to an auto loan calculator and then drive them to a page with search results that pay us money. It's actually super simple. This is how I've made millions of dollars online. And now with AI, it makes it a lot easier. So we're gonna be using the Bing Copilot tool in conjunction with theprofitscoop.com. 
Over here at theprofitscoop.com, we're going to click on Open the Profit Toolbar. This toolbar is going to open in a window so that I could use this alongside Google Bard, Internet Explorer. Wow. That's an old one. Microsoft Edge, Chrome, Firefox, Mozilla, whatever you want. We're gonna go ahead and use this and click on Money Getting Tools, and then we're gonna choose the Trigger Word tool. This is going to be a tool that you can use to help find you keywords to do exactly what I'm teaching you now so that you can make money in a very simple way. Now, notice with the Trigger Word tool that there's no real rhyme or reason for these, right? We have drain, which could be like drain my bank account or drain the toilet or drain the shower or the drain is clogged. Yeah, basically there's no market attached to these keywords. They are just curiosity words to find things that people want in a very easy way. Now, if I was to go through and take a list of keywords like this and then put them into a keyword tool like the free Ahrefs keyword tool here, we could see that a lot of people are searching for different things like French drain, drain snake, drain cleaner, how to get rid of drain flies, how to unclog a shower drain, and on and on we go. And surprisingly, a good amount of the keywords on this list are pretty non-competitive. Then, let's say we wanted to go for this one here because it's a little less competitive than the others. I can actually go back to the keyword tool, type in drain flies right like this, and now I have a list with super non-competitive keywords about drain flies. And notice how quickly I was able to find a keyword with no competition that hundreds of thousands of people search for each and every month. This is money secret number one. Next, I'm going to go ahead and open the Microsoft Bing Edge browser. We're going to go ahead and go over to Google, right like this, within the Bing browser, and type in how to get rid of drain flies. We're going to go ahead and find a website that might be about plumbing or getting rid of pests or something like that. We're going to take a look here and say, maybe we'll use thisoldhouse.com. That's a pretty big site. And we can see it has all kinds of info about drain flies. Where do they come from? How do they work? Everything like that. What we're going to do is click over here on the Bing Copilot. This is going to open the Copilot right here on the page. And it's actually looking at the page with us. So I could say something like, please extract the keywords from this page. It's going to go through and find the keywords from this page and find stuff that I might not have thought of before. It's going to analyze it. It's going to think of it. It's going to help me make money. And we could see here we have drain flies, how to get rid of drain flies, all these different tools that people use to get rid of them and all different things like that. We can also see something extra important. And that is at the bottom it says to get pest control companies. So wait a minute. I can take a keyword like drain flies, which has very little competition, and lead them over to something like Terminex, Orkin, or other chemicals that might help them and put money in the pocket that this shirt doesn't have? Yeah, exactly. Then I can go a step further and say, now, please list the keywords only. And it's going to go through and list all the keywords just by themselves without having a description. This is important because it's going to be what we're going to put into our free keyword tools. We're going to use the Hoth free keyword tool, Ahrefs free keyword tool, and on and on we go. So we can go through and see something like this list here. And we can put this list into the Hoth bulk volume checker. Hopefully it does a good job. Some of these words are a little unique, so we might have to do a little tweaking. But we can see here that it's going to continue to the keyword metrics tool, and it says duct tape, apple cider vinegar. So we might have to put some of these on different lines, right, like this. All right, here we go. We'll just put duct tape flies. Maybe it'll catch that. Boiling water, vinegar, dish soap and stuff like this. And what this is going to do is it's going to give us an overview of what people are searching for that's going to lead to the pest control type stuff. This is super important. And now we can see that they actually do have a lot of people searching for this and the competition is pretty much non-existent. We can keep going and say something like apple cider vinegar flies and see if people are actually searching for apple cider vinegar flies. And in fact, they are. And notice how that is just with one trigger word from our tool. 
and using Bing to refine it. Now, the importance in how and why this works is going to be very obvious in just a second. If we were to go to the SpyFu tool, which tells us how much people pay on average for different keywords, really, like, what are the advertisers paying? And we could see here for how to get rid of drain flies, they are paying like 35 cents per click or less. That means you're probably not going to make that much money. However, if we were to go through and type in pest control, now this one we can see goes for $10.85 per click. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's for one click to a pest control website. Now remember, the results are not typical, implied, or guaranteed. You're not going to get 1085 because there has to be a broker like AdSense or some other program or platform where they're going to take a cut. But you can still make a good bit of money. And in markets like this or mortgage or different things, I've been able to make as much as 3 9 sometimes even $11 per click on average utilizing the strategy I'm going to show you now. And the cool thing is, we literally found this niche market, this keyword, in the blink of an eye using AI and our trigger word tool. But wait, this is about to get really, really good. Next, let's take a look at another one just to get the lay of the land here and see what's going on. Let's say we wanted to do something like printable. We can go over here to the free keyword tool again, type in printable, and we could see all the different things people are looking up related to the word printable printable. Now, some of these are going to be kind of funny, like calendars and things like that, that people want for free, but we can kind of narrow it down and maybe type in something like printable form. Forms, maybe they're looking to get a passport or do their taxes. And we could see here, there's actually quite a few tax forms that people are looking up. Again, what we're going to want to do is find those tax forms, figure out what they tie to, just like we did with the fruit flies. How do the flies in the drain tied to pest control. That's where the money is, pest control. In this one, the money isn't in giving away free forms, it's in getting them to IRS payment plan options or different types of things that'll help them save money or make money or whatever it is. It's actually extremely simple. Then we just go over to Google like this, look for the top results like this eForms here, go to the site. We're gonna click the little cleanup button so we get a fresh result here. It'll summarize the page. Then we can say, what are some of the IRS forms on this website? It's going to go ahead and find them on this page. We can go through and list the forms, make little tutorials on the forms or whatever it is, and then point to things that pay us big money. And it's going to go through and do the work for us and show us the different IRS forms in a very, very simple way. And again, if we go to SpyFu and type something in like, W2 form, you're going to see that the advertisers are not paying much money at all. However, if we do something like IRS debt relief, we can see this one is weighing in at a hefty $34.79 per click. Then we can take it a step further and say, now please tell me some tax forms related to outstanding tax debt. This is going to find the forms for us, and we can focus on just those because those will be the ones that we can make money with. And now you can see we have six different tax forms pertaining to people that owe the IRS money. We can even go a step further and say, now please write an article about these forms. And we can go through and get an article to put on our website where we're going to put those ads. And the ads are going to be something like Azoic, AdSense, maybe you sell banners directly, you can use 7 Search. There's lots of different search engines that will pay you for clicks on your website. It's actually super simple. And you can see here it's going to town making a really good report about these different tax forms. And since this is leading into stuff that pays lots of money, we could go over to an affiliate network like OfferVault over here and type something in like tax relief. And you could see that some of these tax relief offers pay $35 a lead, $18 a lead, some of them $100 a lead. I mean, there is a ton of money in this market. And even if it's not a huge money obvious market like the IRS stuff, remember how we had the fruit flies one and we can actually get them to a plumber. 
And we can see that some of these plumbing leads are $25 per lead, $20, and on and on we go. So there's lots of things that we can point people to that make money. And AI can help us with it as it did with saying, hey, find a pest control company. And you can see here, the pest control companies also pay lots and lots of money. And the key is in being able to figure out how to find these trigger words. Now, I was playing around with the Bing Copilot tool and also playing around with ChatGPT, and I was able to go through and give ChatGPT a list of trigger words, the ones that I have on my website at theprofitscoop.com, and I was able to have it create other keywords like this as well, and then go through and list them out with the intent. So best has intent for looking for the best laptop. That's a commercial intent. Cheap is someone looking to buy something and looking for prices. Tutorial is something people are looking for informative. And when we go through and look at these keywords, what you're gonna find is that there's so much stuff out there and so many untapped niches that you can use, it's not even funny. If we were to go over to the regular Ahrefs keyword tool, just so we could see the length of this list, I really wanna show you how this works. We can type something in like tutorial, and now we see that there's over 1.5 million different keywords related to the word tutorial. So we could go through and say something like QuickBooks tutorial. That one's like not that competitive. And it's got over 7,000 searches a month. Those are people that are doing their taxes and their books. Here's WordPress. That leads perfectly into web hosting, which pays a lot of money. Or if we wanna isolate them by competition, I could just type in five or less and see how many of these 1.5 million keywords have very little competition. We could see here something about braiding, dancing, different types of hair stuff, pro presenter, YouTube makeup tutorial, box braids, piano tutorials, and on and on we go. Or, and again, that's 1.5 million keywords based on one trigger word. Let's go through and do something like DIY. What do people want to do themselves? And we could see here, DIY headboard, fruit fly trap DIY. That fits good with the niche we were talking about earlier. DIY desk, DIY pool, planter boxes, gnat traps, compost bin, and on and on we go. Again, looking at this keyword, we have over 2.4 million keywords and 11 million searches a month. Well, let's say we were gonna go for something like affordable. That might be a little bit more obvious to find where the money is. So we could see here we have affordable, affordable wedding dresses, affordable dental implants. Let's isolate this by the least competitive, 10 or less. Affordable auto sales, affordable apartments, sports cars, connectivity, internet stuff. Hey, wait a minute. Let's take a look at this one here. AT&T Affordable Connectivity Program. Let's go to this one right here. Reset the AI and say, what keywords would this page rank for? it's gonna go through and find those keywords. Now it's super important that we look at this because people looking up the affordable connectivity thing may or may not be in the market for expensive stuff. However, when we look at this here, we have lots and lots of different keywords that they're ranking for, which is great. We could do something like affordable connectivity program. So let's go up a level, type in affordable connectivity program right like this, and we could see 217,000 searches a month of people looking for, get this, wait for it, affordable internet. So if I go to SpyFu and I look up affordable connectivity program, we're gonna see there's no money, literally, like none. However, if we type in best internet provider, now we can see $5.44 per click. Not only that, but a lot of these keywords are super, super non-competitive. I simply go here and say, now please summarize and write about this offer. It's gonna summarize the page and write about the offer. But wait, that's not all. Once it's done with this, I can also say, what are some other programs and government 
things that help with phone service and internet for low income. This is gonna go through and write all the stuff we need at a glance. This is something that would have taken me five or six hours in the olden days to put together something really good for these people. I can now do this in 10, 15, maybe even 20 minutes if I'm doing a really good job and put this together in a really easy way to make money. And over here at OfferVault, we can type something in like ISP for internet. And we could see that Spectrum pays $16 a lead, Navigator's paying $56 on a trial, internet access, VPNs, all kinds of stuff. All kinds of things related to what these people were looking for in the beginning, which is internet service. And again, all I need to do is create a good piece of content that's going to help them understand, here's the internet stuff based on your income, here's some cheaper options, and here's how you can get free internet, or whatever it is you find that is going to help these people. It's something very, very specific. And notice how what we're doing here is utilizing the profit scoop and the trigger words, having AI do all the heavy lifting for us, and create a piece of content that's really going to help people and also lead them into the things that make us money, like the ad programs or the affiliate programs or whatever it is. In fact, just to show you how profitable this one market is alone, there's a guy named Matthew Lesko who literally made millions and millions and millions of dollars teaching people how to find government grants and programs and different things like that. And I'll bet for someone like him, creating content is now super easy because we have AI to help us find all this stuff. And not just that, but utilizing the trigger word tool, you can literally find things at the drop of a hat. Maybe you want to use the word checklist. Again, we'll use the Ahrefs free keyword tool like this, and we can see all the different checklists people want. First apartment checklist. Interesting. Let's take a look at this a little bit deeper. Over 400,000 keywords related to checklist. First apartment checklist is pretty non-competitive, Let's click this one and go a little deeper. First apartment checklist, first time apartment checklist. There's actually quite a few people searching for apartment checklist and different things like that. And what are they doing? Well, they're moving. Again, over here at SpyFu, apartment checklist. 79 cents, pretty low. Moving company. Now that one is over $10. And not to mention the fact that these people are going to need power, internet, phone service, and all kinds of things that pay us big money. So where a lot of people are out there saying, you know, go for your passion and blog about your passion, a lot of people are going to get stuck because maybe your passion is way too competitive. And it doesn't matter how much passion you have, the competition is still going to be there. But what if instead we started using AI, the Bing Copilot tool, and the trigger word list to find niches that are completely untapped. This is something that you can do over and over and over again and make tons of money. And if you wanna learn more about my keyword research method, my trigger words, the, the keyword tools I use, how I use AI in my keyword research, and the whole nine yards, we're actually planning a four hour live training about all things keyword tools. To learn about that and my other videos on how to do keyword research, check out the links in the description.